The cranberries for that award-winning recipe were probably grown right here in Wisconsin. Our growers are expecting to harvest about 4 million pounds of the fruit this year. And Allison Struve has been showing us how it's done at a cranberry bog in central Wisconsin. I've always wanted to check one out, and you got a chance to do that. It's so interesting. We spent the morning there, and just the amount of steps that go through the process to harvest all those cranberries is really unbelievable. And a lot of people do think that they grow underwater, but it's not. Exactly. Sure. We learned that this morning. <laughs> we visited Dubai Cranberries in Junction City, which is in northern Portage County. They're right in the middle of the three-week harvest. The manager says they're hoping to ship 240,000 pounds of our state fruit this year. Fortunately, we picked the rainiest day of the week to visit, but we still got a good look at the harvest process. Manager Dave Hansen told me a lot of people think cranberries grow in water, but they're actually grown in dry beds and flooded at harvest time. Cranberries are hollow, so they float to the surface. They're knocked off the vines and blown to one end of the bed. Then it is finally time to get them out of the water. Take a look. Well, we're really in the thick of it now, really uh, getting to the point where we can get the cranberries out of the, the cranberry beds here with Dave Hansen. Why don't you describe for us right now what's the setup and what's happening? This is the last process of harvest as far as what we concern ourselves with. Right now, the berries are all corralled up here and they're in the process of loading them. What we have is a, a berry pump over here and actually it takes the berries that are all corralled up floating and it'll suck them in a little box like a little vacuum cleaner and it'll go through a pump up to the top of the cleaning box. Up on top you use water again to clean the leaves off. The leaves go into our leaf truck and the clean cranberries go in the semi on their way down the ocean spray. Okay, so the boom is this uh, border around the Correct. Area we're in? Correct. So our goal here is to, when we finish this bed to leave at least among many cranberries as possible around the edge. We can't get them all, but we do do our darnest to get them all. How many cranberries are you expecting to harvest from this bed right here? This bed, I'm hoping this bed will come out somewhere pretty close to 300 barrels of the acre, barrel being 100 pounds. This bed will take us uh, probably about an hour and a half to complete. On a normal day, if the yields are this good, we could probably do three beds a day. But I will tell you one thing, and I can you probably vouch for you a little bit, your toes are getting a little numb. It's a little cold in here, definitely. So definitely you want to be walking around and moving yeah. on a day like today. Absolutely. Unless you are too familiar with the cranberry bog, in which case I am not moving too fast. <laughs> Just trying to itch my way through here. Well, you don't want to get cranberries down in those boots. Well, and you don't want to fall either. There's, yeah. I mean, you remember that's just the di the bed that they flooded, so there's ditches and everything. I was just trying to not fall in. But that's interesting too. This morning we were talking about all the different ways and the different equipment and stuff like that. A lot of cranberry growers have a conveyor belt. I've that seen takes pictures of that. Yeah, the cranberries up. But so, they have something else. The yeah, vacuum. it sucks it all down, mm -hmm. and just everybody kind of creates their own way to do it. Now, you and I are both from the area, mm -hmm. so we know that Wisconsin is known for cranberries. What surprised you the most about being out there? I think just how involved they have to get in it. Okay, we're going to spend a couple hours um, moving the bridge through and just the big process and just how big cranberries are in Wisconsin because we don't actually have any bogs real close to here. Mm -hmm. So, glad it's just you went. So neat. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thanks for sharing, Allison. Mm -hmm.